His skull was discovered on the side of the track two months later, about 138 miles or just over 220 kilometers. Did a rocket a launch off of your head? Passing away while doing the dirty is perhaps one of the finest oh, or no. most embarrassing hold ways on, to- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now this one right here. Hey, that's a true happy ending. But Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Yeah. Wow, welcome back, Dukes and Duke. Yes, it's your man Eddie Ed. It's Eddie Ed TV. Back with another video. We are doing the dumbest ways to die. Okay, uh, drop your thoughts in the comments after this video, uh, and let's see what we get into, man. The dumbest ways to, ways to die. I'm I'm very interested. So let's let's tune in. Let's get it in. It's Eddie Ed TV. Bad Badger. Shouts out to Bad Badger for making this video. Let's get it coming back after you. Gary Cagle was a fan of the water. The free diver and avid fisherman was constantly looking for his next big catch near the Florida Keys, but he didn't always follow the Ooh. rules. Despite the fact that they are a protected species, Cagle went on the hunt for the Goliath groupers in 2006, and he found what he was looking for. He pierced the fish's skin with his spear gun only to be startled by its size and immense strength. Cagle was yanked along by the fish as it tried to escape. He became caught in the wire, which led to his second blunder. He forgot to pack his knife. Unable to get free of the line and trapped underwater, Kegel eventually drowned. A day no. later, his body was discovered, still attached to the dead grouper, who had likely become a legend among other fish for the day because he truly caught the big one. Number 14, Heads Up. Bumping your head is one of the most frustrating accidents a person can experience. Even a quick <laughs> whack to the hardest low-hanging mm. shelf, though, now, I would say, like, you know, when it comes to, ba you know, bopping your head like this, you definitely, um, you definitely don't want to, let me zoom in a little bit, you definitely don't want to get, get injured really bad bopping your head from, from like, coming off the ground, you know, like, turning into something, because that happens a lot, and it sucks when it happens, so... Imagine really doing it so hard that you have to go to the hospital. That's just a big, a big problem. Though pales in comparison to what one daredevil with a liking for trains and trespassing suffered in North Carolina back in 2018. In an attempt to satisfy his adrenaline junkie desires, he climbed onto a train's roof and tried to ride it as if it were a wild metal stallion. He'd been issued warnings before for similar situations, That's what you so get. he'd probably gotten his head around the balancing act that train top cruising would demand. But uh, his thoughts were, um, how do we put it, redirected when the train passed beneath a low-hanging bridge. He apparently didn't see the bridge in time and slammed into it at full speed. It turns out that it isn't very impossible. good for the human body to hit solid objects at over 90 miles or just under 150 kilometers per hour. His skull was discovered on the side of the track two months later, about 138 miles or just over 220 kilometers from where his body was discovered the day of the accident. Authorities came to a disturbing conclusion with this evidence. He'd been literally decapitated the instant he hit the bridge's roof, and his body proceeded on its journey until it fell off the train. The conclusion is simple. Don't be a train cowboy. It's a huge pain in the neck. Number 13, That's Disney's crazy. new Dumbo. Gaston is an extremely arrogant character That's from Disney's crazy. Beauty and the Beast, with an endless supply of chin. misguided self-confidence. So it's entirely possible that the actor who played Gaston at Disney World Orlando was still in character when he caused his own catastrophic end in 2015. It appears so since he oh, had he too much faith in his own skull strength as he launched a rocket from the top of his head. Oh, He'd been drinking God. heavily and it... Oh, you can turn any slogan or hey, funny listen, quote... Man. You can't be, you can't be drinking, you can't be drinking and all that and then uh, try to do these crazy stuff because you're still human. I know a lot of people when they drink, they don't get in the right state of mind and then the adjustment is impaired, of course. But man, putting a rocket launch off of your head is just, you know you're not in your right mind. I mean... Man, the things you do when you impaired. Out the idea when the firework he put on his head to demonstrate caught spark. 
Within seconds, the mortar tube exploded in a vivid, blazing explosion that no amount of alcohol could dull. Without a doubt, Disney World needed to find a new Gaston. Hopefully the new one is less of a method actor and more <laughs> professional. Number 12, Till Death Do Us Part. Passing away while doing the dirty is perhaps one of the finest oh, or no. most embarrassing hold ways on, to hold on, hold on. Now this one right here, you do not want to pass away while doing the nasty, man. When you, when you get your nasty on and you catch a, and you catch either a, a chest pain or, I mean, it's a lot of things you can catch in the midst already. Cramps, you know, you can get stiff, depending on what. You, it's a lot, of, but to get mortalized or to or to get a fatality during one of these sessions or during one of these uh, situations, it's it's gotta be. Nobody wants to go out during a during one of these things, man. Like this, this is probably gotta be one of the top ways top worst ways to go on my list like this has got to be one of the it's not a dumb way to die but it's a very unfortunate way to go like you having you're having a good time and then you gotta die on your good time that's that's unfortunate you know what i mean so but for an old man who hired an escort in 2016 Whoa, the true disgrace occurred after the deed sadly the man died a from a heart attack in the heat of passion to his paid companions horror though the combination of the escort's panic and the man's no longer circulating blood flow caused the duo to become, well, stuck together, literally. Oh. The victim had no choice but to seek medical attention after being unable to break free from the horrifyingly creepy hug. What? She was brought past dozens of hospital onlookers after paramedics picked her up, still very much bonded to the man she'd given a happy ending to. Oh my, we assume a... the whole until death do us part thing only- Hey, that's a true- a happy ending, but I don't know if it is happy, but anyway, that's that's a stupid joke. Me applies to married couples. Number 11, the deadly stroll. Drive through safari parks Ooh. are terrific opportunities for anyone who loves nature's most dangerous creatures and wants to get up close and personal with them. Ooh. It is fairly safe as long as one basic guideline is followed. At all times, remain inside Stay your vehicle. In vehicle. But on a hot summer day Everybody in 2016, this, at Beijing's Bottling Safari World, oh that gosh. rule was violated in an act of sheer stupidity. Sheer stu it happened oh, after an altercation no. between the passenger and the driver of a car who was passing through the tiger enclosure. Oh. In a fit of rage, the passenger stormed out of the vehicle. What a stupid move! Within seconds, a tiger lunged and caught her in its jaws. But while this in itself was a mind-numbingly dumb decision, the response of the other passengers in the car proved fatal. One of the passengers figured that she could overcome the tiger herself, oh my and as a result, she jumped out and ran over to the big cat. She was instantly slain by one of nature's most efficient killing machines. Ironically, the person she was attempting to save lived. And if she had just what? waited a second or two longer for the highly experienced park personnel to take over, she could have as well. It should go without saying, if you battle a tiger unarmed, you will lose. Unless you're Hercules. Have you ever had something crazy happen to you with animals in captivity? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you like the video so far... Hey, listen. You know, obviously she didn't see the tiger because if she did... Wait, did she see the tiger? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, but if she did see the tiger... She was most definitely out of her mind. Be sure to subscribe to see more. Number 10, the cure for boredom. When you're prone to making ridiculously bad choices, tempting fate is twice as stupid as it would be for normal people. That didn't stop a Brazilian student from proudly displaying the infinitely wise motto, better to die from vodka than boredom, in his Facebook bio. You can probably guess where this is going. In 2015, during a drinking contest, he put that saying to the test by downing 25 shots of vodka in less than 60 seconds. The student said he felt nauseous and fainted shortly after sinking the final drop. And soon after, he died of alcohol poisoning on the of way to the hospital. You would. Even over an hour, that many rounds could have been lethal. But in a minute, it's just downright absurd. In a minute, you're Anyone to die. who was rooting for this person while he slammed those shots Look at is this. probably just as stupid as he was. Number 9. Uh. Experienced Jumper. The next daredevil made a surprising mistake during a spot check. Ooh, now, now this right here. This right here. This right here, I would say, um, I do want to do skydiving, but it's very... T 
to me is still a high risk thing. I don't care if you're with a professional. It's still like a high risk experience. Um, I'm not like, oh, I really got to go do this, but it's one that I am curious to try. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it because I am curious to try it. Um, and it's one of one on my bucket list, but I'm not so thirsty to try. I'm not so like, oh, let me try it to next week or this weekend. But it is something that I, I've always been like, oh, I would like to try. Now, I have tried. Well, I haven't tried it yet. But I, I do want to go to one of those inside, like, inside experiences where you're, like, in the tube and you're floating. I do want to try that, though. I do want to do that first and, and then see how I like it and, and all that good jazz. But, yeah, man, drop in the comments if you have been skydiving and what, and what was your experience like. Um, but I just know like anything could happen in the air and if stuff isn't working, it's over, bro. It's over. Ain't no backup. So that's the scary thing about it. Let me know in the comments, man. Ivan Lester McGuire was a seasoned skydiver who had moved on to his next assignment which required him to work with other parachutists in North Carolina. McGuire opted to record the other divers as they dropped to Earth during a collective dive in 1988. He made sure his camera was ready for filming, got into position, and leapt out of the plane once the others had leapt off. He had just forgotten one small detail, his parachute. No. In the excitement, he forgot to put his on. Instead of capturing the other divers as they approached the ground, he managed to capture the rapidly approaching Earth as he free fell towards a fatal collision, no. an unexpected finish for a man who had made over 800 jumps. Number 8. Wow. Weddings are a blast. It's not our business to judge other cultures' traditions, but a circle of dancing men blasting shotguns into the air doesn't seem like the smartest way to celebrate a wedding, nah, let alone the safest one. Unfortunately, it was the tactic of choice in 2019 for a bunch of Indian wedding goers with a fondness for celebration gunshots. The initial round of gunfire fired dangerously close to the dancers' heads, nearly deafened some of them. Despite this, the second round was still fired. This time, without any regard for safety or in any attempts to try and aim at the sky, one of the bullets struck one of the shotgun-wielding guests straight in the face. The oblivious oh guest gosh. who shot the round proceeded to fire more rounds happily until he saw what he'd done. Needless to say, the festivities ended once he decided to look at the situation around him. Hey guys, how about we start using wedding bells instead of shotgun shells from now on? Number 7. The Flamethrower When a blowtorch gets in the hands of our species' less than brilliant members, it's always wise to take a step, or ten, back. Or better yet, move to the next county over, if this wasn't that obvious. In June 2019, a man from Topeka, Kansas made it very clear when he found what looked like an empty metal drum. A curious man decided that cutting the object open with a blowtorch was his best option. It's unclear what he had hoped to accomplish with this drum in the first place, since it burst violently before he had a chance to complete his mission. Apparently, he ignored the bold warnings that said that the drum contained methanol, which is a highly flammable substance. For people like this, warnings to stay away from naked flames must not have sounded too threatening. Whether he read the labels or not, this guy's hasty blowtorch trigger finger cost him his life. Number yeah. 6. Convoy of Death On a spring night in April 2016, a rather That's strange beautiful. group was spotted chugging along a road in Louisiana. One man was driving a sit-down lawnmower while another sat on the bonnet, and the third sat in a wheelchair, of all things, holding on to the back of the lawnmower and being dragged along. The three were said to be having the time of their lives as they cruised on a busy road. That is, until they were hit from behind by an unsuspecting truck. Oh, no. As surprising as it may seem, a dark highway wasn't the best setting for a tag-along DIY joyride. Wow. Amazingly, the only person killed in the incident was the man driving the lawnmower, who what? seems to have started the absurd activity. <laughs> this is crazy. How did he die? You would think the one in the wheelchair dies, because he, he was in the back. He got hit from the back with the semi. So wouldn't he die first? Ironically, the one in the front dies. He had to have fallen over or something and got smushed. Maybe that's probably what happened. Because that's the only way I I could see him dying uh, from the hit. is if he fell forward and got crushed, ran over from the hit. But any other way, I don't even know how he would die. Drop it in the comments if you would know how, or like whatever I... 
whatever other ideas you think of of how he could have died, drop it in the comments because I only could see if he fell over the lawnmower and got ran over by the semi truck included. But any other way, I don't I don't understand how he could die unless if he got jerked and I don't know. Hopefully his friend's mowers will stay firmly on the lawn from this day on. Number 5. A Highway Joyride Riding in a bicycle lane can be risky enough sometimes, and as we just learned, being on the road at night in anything besides vehicles adds to that risk. But riding a bicycle on the highway at night? Don't even try it. This oh, clear yeah, no-no should speak yeah. for itself for the vast majority of it's people. Dangerous. But in September 2019, one man stood out from the crowd when he decided to go on a late night bike ride along the 405 freeway in Long Beach, California. He was cycling in the auxiliary lane, which is designed to let cars speed up or slow down on the 60 mile per hour highway in the dark. Look Unsurprisingly, guy, a car which was unaware of the presented danger and not expecting to see a cyclist in the dark drove into him at full speed, unable see. to stop. A collision that should never have happened killed the rider and possibly scarred the driver for the rest of his life. What so I'm what did we learn from this? Crazy. Unless you're a superhuman capable of riding your bicycle at speeds of 60 miles or just under 100 kilometers per hour or higher, leave the highway. Highways to the motorists. Number four, the condom criminal. Before the big bucks come along, every skilled criminal has to start with tiny jobs to gain experience. That being said, robbing a machine full of condoms for its contents and cash isn't exactly the typical sign of a budding criminal genius. In fact, it's the opposite. But on Christmas Day 2015, a bunch of rookie German criminals decided to do just that. They stuffed explosives into a condom dispenser and lit them. But, much to their surprise, the explosion shot parts of the metal container outwards with enough speed to make them lethal projectiles. Oh, One of the robbers was hit in the head and died soon after. The machine wasn't in much better shape, though. I'm sorry to state the obvious, but I believe the condom-crazed criminal would have been okay if he had just worn protection. Number 3. Snakes on a Couch snakes Many a people couch. associate having a snake in their home with a living nightmare, while for others, snakes can be a great pet. But for a woman from Indiana, one snake wasn't enough. Her ideal number was 140 to be exact. As an enthusiast and part-time oh, breeder, man. you'd think the 36-year-old would be well aware of the dangers of living with reptiles that could kill you. But she lowered her vigilance or Look simply felt more oh, comfortable letting the beast roam free among her, and one of the snakes turned on her. The village sheriff was horrified the next day to discover the reptile enthusiast being held in a lethal embrace by one of her favorite pets an eight foot long or just about two and a half meter python. I knew it, it had bro. strangled her to death just hours before, but it was still wrapped around her neck, indicating that when a python wants a hug, there are no exceptions. Number two, wow. bedtime is important. That's We're regularly crazy. reminded of the importance of getting a good night's sleep, and for Hold good on. reason, too. But for one Chinese man in 2014... Hold on, we gotta talk about that one last, uh, the, the reptile one, man. Like, okay, the having a small snake one, okay, you can keep them in the cage or they're they're in a cage, they're small. Or even, not even saying, because the, hers, they were roaming around. Okay, the small the small snakes, nah, it's, it's, it's no biggie. They're small, they're not, they're not able to kill you as easily if they're not poisonous. Um, and, okay, they're free roaming, but you're going to let an eight-foot one roam around the house? Talking about you love them and you got strangled. Like, common sense, man, is leaving humans. Teen, the consequences extended far beyond being sleepy the next morning. As a huge soccer fan, losing sleep during the World Cup due to the 11 hour time difference between host country Brazil and his own country was no big deal and typical. But the tension, exhaustion, and exhilaration of seeing soccer's greatest players go head-to-head -head non-stop for the 48 hours he stayed up took their toll on his body. It's believed that his extreme tiredness caused a brain hemorrhage, the chances of which occurring dramatically increased due to sleep deprivation. He died shortly after Costa Rica defeated Uruguay 3-1 in the day's last match. It's unknown whether he was a supporter of the losing team and Dang. took the loss especially hard. But if my parents told me I might die from staying up too late as a teenager, I would have definitely gotten more sleep. And you should too. Number 1. Hey, look, no hands. 
showing off while cruising at 85 miles per hour or just under 140 kilometers an hour on a motorcycle is without a doubt one of the stupidest things you can do. One of that the didn't stupidest. stop a Russian motorcycling vlogger, though, who considered himself a daredevil on his Harley Davidson in June 2019. He shot a vlog while steering with his feet and filming with his hands, bragging about how his ability to not give up made these things possible. The biker soon lost control and his Harley flipped dozens of times, smacking against the tarmac just moments after sharing the insanely dangerous footage to a friend. The vehicle was only slightly less damaged than the rider was, though, but even the most skilled mechanics and doctors couldn't simply put the two back together. Texting and driving is bad enough, but if you follow in this guy's footsteps, all you have to look forward to is the ride. Have you heard of Turtle Traders? Asphalt Road. <clears throat> that was crazy, man. That was crazy and stupid. A lot of them were dumb. A lot of them were dumb. I would say a lot of them were, were dumb ways to die, for real. Like, the snake one... I'm so, that was just so obvious. I don't care what wild animal you have in the house. You, you got to be careful, man. Especially big pythons like like that. Snakes like python. Eight foot? You don't see that many human beings long as eight foot. You're going to bring an eight foot, and I think it's probably 100, at, least, at least 120. At least on the lighter side, 120. For, for an eight foot snake. I'm probably I'm I'm probably lowballing the heck out of that number, and I don't even know how much they. I don't know snakes like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm not out here doing all that research. I don't like snakes like that. I'm not a snake enthusiast. Um, do I hate snakes? I don't hate snakes. I just don't. I just don't want to be around them like that. Um, it was a lot of different ones that that could have been obviously avoided, like riding your bike at night. That's dangerous. Uh, the the one with the joy right with the three guys that was just obviously a bad idea. It's a lot of bad ideas. But this is dumb ways to die. Let me know which which way you thought was the dumbest because I think my the one I thought was the dumbest um definitely the snake one. I think the snake one could have been because she she loved him so much she was just blinded by love, um which. Was a dumb mistake loving a wild animal like that to put your guard down. Um, you're not a, I don't know what you call them, but wild animals are wild animals. And we got to be smart about how we handle them and how we put ourselves around them. I don't care if you're a lion, lover, all that, man. You never know. But that was the dumb, dumbest one for me. Drop your dumbest one in the comments. Get in my comments. Let's have a conversation. Let's get it. Eddie Ed TV. Peace.